Hi, in this video I'll be talking about something that seems a little bit controversial in the world of washing machines and that's quick wash programs versus eco wash programs and what I want to do today is to cover some of the advantages and disadvantages of both types of washers. Before we start I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances like these. I do specialise in things like cordless vacuums and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So just give us a quick subscribe then we'll make a start. So I just want to make it clear that the programs I'm talking about are for full loads, they're not for the small loads, which are normally the two or three kilogram loads. Now, first of all, what is a quick wash? Now, a lot of people think that all you need is just put everything in for say half an hour, 40 minutes, and that's gonna be perfectly fine. Now, for some people, if you've got a quick wash like this, so on this Blomberg washing machine, you've got the ability to do a full load in around 28 minutes. Now, for some people, that's brilliant because you just want to put everything in, get it all done really quickly, and then away you go. But they're not really thinking about things like the washing performance or water or electricity. Speed of the wash is the main consideration. Now, all I'm trying to do is to make you aware that that might not be the best option for you, uh, because some of the other washes might be better, like the Eco 40 to 60. And with that program, you are looking at around two and a half hours. So it's taking two hours extra to wash the same amount of clothes. Now for a lot of people you're thinking, well, why? You know, why does it need to be in for another two hours to do the same job? Now a common misconception that we have with a lot of our customers is that whenever you see something like Eco, you think it's gonna be quick. So people think that a quick program is going to be more efficient than a longer program. Now I know it's, it sounds a little bit bizarre that potentially a longer program is going to be a lot cheaper on electricity, it's going to use less water, but often that can be the case. Now the first perception of a quick wash is that it's going to use less water. Now as far as this machine, that's definitely not the case. To give you an idea, on this fast full load program, so this one that takes 28 minutes, if you're washing a full load, so the full 7 kilogram load on this particular machine, then it will use around 66 litres of water. Now nowadays that's actually quite a lot. Uh, especially for, for a quick wash like this. Uh, if you're going back up to this program, then you're looking around 52 litres of water. So that's an instant saving of around 14 litres. And if you times that by the number of washes that you do over a week, month, year, several years, that's a lot of water. Uh, the second perception is that the amount of electricity that it uses is going to be a lot cheaper. Well, clearly it's only on for half an hour compared to two and a half hours. You know, that's going to be a lot cheaper, isn't it? Not always the case. So on the quick wash, it will use around 1.2 kilowatt hours of electricity. And on the Eco 40 to 60 program, you're looking around 0.95. Now, I know all these figures can vary because what you'll find is if, uh, depending on the load that you've got in there, uh, it obviously it will adjust and it will take in the amount of water according to the load. Uh, but these are from the, basically it's from the instructions very rare I'll read instructions but this is a, a chart that's in here so this is what the, the manufacturers will produce. Um, also it's assuming it's at a 60 degree wash. Uh, so that's a couple of examples and all I'd normally say is before you buy a washing machine have a look in the manufacturer's instructions because you will find that there are charts like these uh, either in the instructions, the physical instructions like this or go to the manufacturer website because you should be able to find all the information for all of the programs as far as the amount of water they use. The other misconception and something people don't really think about is the washing performance. Uh, we've had quite a few people, not necessarily with this brand of washing machine, uh, but with quite a few brands where they're using the quick wash programs all the time and they're actually quite disappointed with the performance of the wash. And clearly if you're gonna try and wash and spin and rinse and do everything in around half an hour to 40 minutes every single time, then you're not gonna be able to get that good a washing performance compared to if you're going to wash on programs that are around two or two and a half hours. Something else to consider is if you're somebody that suffers with things like sensitive skin, and if you, when you put your washing machine on, if you want it to go through extra rinses uh, to get rid of all the suds, then personally, I wouldn't really recommend any of the quick programs. The main reason is when it goes through the whole washing process, it will reduce the number of rinses that it goes through. So if you rely on the machine uh, putting extra rinses in, then really I'd recommend going for some of the longer programs. 
Also, on some of the quick washes, just have a look out for the maximum spin speed that the washing machine is going to spin at. And the reason I say that, because quite a few manufacturers, not necessarily Blomberg, uh, but quite a few other manufacturers, what they do is they cheat a little bit, because what they'll do is if the maximum spin speed of the machine is, say, a 1400, then to try and speed up the process, they'll reduce the maximum spin speed to, say, 1200. And what that does is that has a huge disadvantage uh, because what it means is that all the clothes are not being spun to their maximum potential. So often what happens is that uh, once you finish the wash, because they still feel a little bit too damp, you have to put it through another process of a spin-only program. Now that kind of defeats the object of a quick wash because you're having to put everything in again. That leads quite nicely into the next thing I was going to talk about and that's the remaining moisture content. Uh, this is something that not many people talk about, uh, not many customers mention it, uh, but again, in the instructions, have a look because there is a section in here and it's showing you, after it's washed and done everything, it's gone through the rinse program, gone through the spin, it will give you an idea about the remaining moisture content as a percentage. Uh, and that can be really useful, just give you an idea on some figures. First of all, the Eco 40 to 60, the remaining moisture content of that program, you're looking around 53%. Uh, as you come down to the fast fall load, even when we increase the spin speed up to the maximum of 1400, you're looking around 62%. Now, it might not sound a lot going from 53 to 62, uh, but clearly it's 9% difference. And what they can do, uh, if you're going to take the clothes out of here and put them into a tumble dryer, then despite you having a quicker wash, you've washed everything in 28 minutes, everything is slightly damper than if you put it on the Eco program. So what it means, if you're putting everything into a tumble dryer straight away, that will take longer. And as many people know, tumble dryers are quite expensive to run. So any benefit you thought you were saving on the quick program, you've immediate, immediately lost out by having to put it into the tumble dryer for longer. One of the final things to mention about comparing the two programs is that a lot of engineers will not recommend always using quick programs. I know for a fact that Blomberg engineers, when they go out, if there is an issue with the machine, and we have had it firsthand, one of the common questions they will ask the customer is what programs are you using? And if they say that they're using the fast programs all the time, then they will recommend not to do that, and on the odd occasion to use some of the longer programs. Now, I suppose this has an impact on things like cleaning and maintaining the machine, uh, what we try and recommend is, first of all, have a look for a machine that's got things like a drum clean program. Uh, that can really help to keep the machine clean. Uh, and that's really good, especially if you use the quick programs a lot. Then make sure you do a, say, a high temperature wash. So if the machine hasn't got a drum clean program, then put it on, say, a 90 degree program, ideally around once a month. Uh, and what that will do is it just helps to keep the machine clean. But what some engineers have said to us is that by using some of the longer programs, then it can increase the life of the machine. We haven't got any facts and figures to prove this, uh, but I suppose what they're saying is that if you are using some of the longer programs, then it's cleaning everything within the machine, uh, especially things like the element, um, rather than always using the quick programs. Now I'll try and wrap this up, because what I don't want to do is to put you off using the quick wash programs. They do have a place, uh, for example, if one of the kids has come to you and said, you know, I need my uniform cleaning before the next day, uh, to do a quick wash, you know, say around half an hour, and then if you've got the ability to put it in a tumble dryer afterwards, that's perfect, that kind of scenario. But it's just really trying to, uh, I suppose, educate people to not use the quick programs all the time. Uh, unfortunately, people have got used to shorter programs, especially if the machine you've got is quite old say if it was 15, 20 years old, then the wash times were a lot quicker then. Uh, and, but hopefully what you'll find now is that the performance of the wash should be a lot better than on some of the older machines. And what we'll often find is that people have got used to a certain way of washing the clothes, especially the older generation. Uh, if you've been washing for say 30, 40 years, then trying to teach people to wash in a different way or to increase the wash time of their washes can be quite difficult sometimes. But I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and you may have learned something along the way. Uh, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up and leave any comments below. I do expect quite a few comments on this. Uh, on some of the other videos I posted, they've got quite a few comments as to whether you agree or disagree. 
Uh, if you don't, well, all I'd say is please leave a comment on it, what you thought about the video. Um, if you've got any comments on what I've talked about, then please tell me about it. Uh, I'm always open for discussion. If you've got any questions on anything I've talked about as well, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.